Hey, welcome back to Bed Squared. In this video, we're going to be doing the converse of Pythagoras' theorem. So if we're given a triangle with three sides, what we can do is we can use the converse of Pythagoras' theorem to find out a simple test to see if um, the triangle is a right triangle, okay, if it has a right angle. So let's have a look at this then. If a triangle has side lengths of A, B, and C units, where we know that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, okay, then we know that we have a right triangle. So let's do an example here. We have the following question. It says, is the triangle with sides 8, 9, and 12 centimeters right angled? Okay, so the two shorter sides have a length of 8 and 9 centimeters. If this was a right angle triangle, then our hypotenuse would have to be the longest side, which means the right angle would have to be at this point. Okay, this corner here would have to be the right angle, just because the longer side is opposite the right angle. So let's try to work this out then. Um, let's just assume that this is one of the legs, which is A, and this is another leg, which is B. The longest side of the triangle is C. Okay, we're going to try to work this out then. So if we've got A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, we're going to do the following. We're going to do 8 squared plus 9 squared, and that should equal to 12 squared. So let's see if this works. 8 squared is 64, 9 squared is 81, and that should equal to 12 squared, which is 144. In fact, 64 plus 81 equals to 145, which is just one too much of 144. So we should write that statement down. We should say, therefore, the triangle, okay, the triangle is not a right triangle. There you go. Okay, let's move on to another question. So here's some questions for you to try. Pause the video here and try these questions for yourself. It says the following figures are not drawn to scale. Which of the triangles are right triangles? So do your full working out and when you're ready you can look in the description, okay, to find out what the answers are. I hope you've done your working out and you've checked out your answers from the description box. Let's move on to another example. It says the following figure is not drawn to scale. Is it right angled? And if so, indicate which angle is right angled. Now remember in Pythagoras' theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where a and b are the two shorter sides. So the first thing that we need to figure out is which out of these three lengths is the longest side. Because if it's the longest side, it's going to be equal to c. So 1 obviously has the value of 1. Let's find out the square root of 2. The square root of 2 here is equal to 1.41. So we can say that's 1.41. And let's work out the root of 3 using a calculator. Root of 3 is, is about 1.73. Which means that if this was a right angle triangle, then the right angle would have to be here. Because remember, the hypotenuse or the longest side of a triangle is always opposite the right angle. So let's set this up then. That means then, therefore, that I could label 1 as A, I could label the root 2 as B, and I could label root 3 as C, or the longest side of the triangle. So let's substitute these values in. We're going to do 1 squared plus the root of 2. I'm going to square it. And then that should equal to, okay, uh, the root of 3 squared. So, 1 squared is just 1. Okay, so let's use our calculator. We're going to do the, the square root of 2 squared, which in this case equals to 2. So let's write that down here. And then the square root of 3 squared, which equals to 3. Now, this isn't a coincidence, by the way, guys. What we can learn from this is, actually, let's just write it here. We can say the square root of any number, okay, the square root of a squared is equal to a. Why? Because what does this square actually mean? It means to multiply it by itself. The square root of a times the square root of a, which basically just gives us the value of a. Okay, that's a rule that you can actually pause and write down because that's useful for the questions that you're going to be solving. Uh, but let's just finish off this question here. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 3 is equal to 3, which means we do in fact have a right angle triangle and it is indicated by this side here. So this triangle doesn't look like a right triangle, but that's okay because it's not drawn to scale anyway. Otherwise, it would give away the answer, wouldn't it? Okay, so let's move on then. So here's some questions for you to try. Pause the video here and work them out in your book. When you're ready, check for the answers in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and check out these other videos which will be helpful for Pythagoras. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.